It's your girl, Shauna J. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today, we are gonna revisit some of the most iconic body mists ever. I started to wear body mist when I was around 14 years old or something like that. Pretty sure I was in high school when I started to rock body mist. And let me tell you, a lot of these body mists that I used to wear back in the day are still in rotation. And that's the reason why I consider them to be such classics. They're like, Iconic a lot of the new school body mist like they're really good But I know for a fact a lot of them will not stand the test of time So let's jump into these body mists that I consider to be super super iconic The first fragrance that I have here is a pear glaze or a pear glace I'm not really sure how you pronounce this one. It's been around for quite some time. I was introduced to this fragrance I would say around 1999 or the year 2000 or something like that i was definitely in high school don't try to check my age back in high school i didn't really like this one but i had a classmate that used to rock this one every single day like whenever i smell this one up to this day i remember her because she used to bathe in the scent i don't know if she used to refresh the scent but i could smell this on her all day now when i started to wear this one i also noticed that it was a very long lasting scent especially when you layer with the body cream very long lasting scent now this one is all about sugared pear and cassava melon so it's like melon and pear it's very fruity smelling you definitely pick up on the pear it's watery it's sweet it's refreshing it's a bit boozy this is not like an organic kind of pear or a very natural smelling scent i consider this to be a very iconic scent Scent. I mean, no wonder Victoria's Secret has kept this one around. If you like pear, definitely try this one out. Another fragrance that I have here, I think it came out around the same time as Pear Glacé, is Strawberries and Champagne. This is another fragrance that I liked, but I wouldn't dare wear. There was something about this fragrance that was so pretty, but I was so intimidated to rock this fragrance, especially back in high school. You know, I wanted to fit in, and I just felt like this one would have me smelling different. And I just, I was scared to smell different. After high school, I started to wear this one. And even now, I still rock this fragrance. It's such a pretty scent. Now, this one is all about strawberries and champagne, of course. It doesn't really smell like strawberries and champagne. I mean, it kind of does, but not really. It pulls more like a sparkling, fruity, floral type scent. Mm, I love this one. It's so freaking good. This is strawberries and champagne. Another fragrance that I have here that I consider to be totally iconic is a Subi P. How many of you guys still own this fragrance? I have a small bottle that has like this much in it. So I decided, you know what, let me go ahead and buy another full bottle. This was kind of more up my alley back in high school. It has this very girly, delicate, pink, floral type of scent. I still freaking love this scent. It still gives me like butterflies. It's such a beautiful scent. This is Sweet Pea. Okay, another very iconic scent that I just discovered is Japanese Cherry Blossom. I literally just added this one to my collection. This one is another one that has been around for forever. I think it's one of the original fragrances from Bath & Body Works. For whatever reason, it just never spoke to me until recently, which is so weird. It always felt a little bit too mature for me, but recently went into Bath & Body Works, tried this one out, and I'm like, have I been missing out? This is the kind of fragrance I would wear if I'm like going somewhere nice or something like that. It feels very classy, and it just feels classic to me, all right? So yeah, for the most part, all I'm getting here is musk and cherry blossom. Very musky cherry blossom type of scent. Okay, another one that I have here that is so super classic is warm vanilla sugar this is actually the first vanilla fragrance i ever ever added to my collection so i would say that this was my gateway to vanilla because back in the day i did not like vanilla i did not like anything sweet on my body so i used to avoid this one until one day i decided let me try it out and let me tell you it's one of my favorite vanilla scents up to this day it sticks out once you smell warm vanilla sugar you will never forget it it kind of smells like rice pudding to me when i got my first job my first real job i decided to wear this one because it's so soft it's warm it's such an enticing scent but it's a very intimate vanilla scent sweet but not too sweet gourmand but not too gourmand floral but not too floral musky but not too musky it just has the perfect balance of notes ah uh, it's so 
good this is warm vanilla sugar another fragrance that i have here is by victoria's secret and this one is called pure seduction now pure seduction has been around for quite some time and honestly i avoided this one like on purpose because i just did not like the scent it's very very fruity it's like a fruity floral type of scent but it more wears like a big bowl of fruit punch juice i went into victoria's secret the other day and i sprayed it on my wrist and i was like you know what this is not bad now, i don't think it's fair to say that this smells like straight up fruit punch because i think we have fuchsia in here i think this is like plum and fuchsia and you definitely pick up on the floors in here which gives it like just a little bit of complexity not too much but you know what i'm saying but yeah pure seduction is definitely one of those fragrances that i consider to be very iconic now even though i don't have it in my collection because i cannot get myself to buy that fragrance i'm gonna add it to this list love spell okay love spell has been around for so long it's not one of my favorite fragrance it kind of reminds me a little bit of pure seduction but pure seduction to me is way more pleasant love spell is just this deep berry type scent i don't know if it's plum but it's like sweet it's deep it's like fruity it's musky there's some florals in there it smells like i don't want to tell you what it smells like to me all right but i'm not a fan of that fragrance now there are other variations of love spell that i have such as love spell night that i absolutely love because it doesn't really smell like that but the original love spell girl is iconic but it's not for me but i'm pretty sure there are a lot of people out there that love that scent but i definitely think it needed to be on this list so another fragrance that i have here that i consider to be very iconic is sea island shore sea island shore is another fragrance that i've been wearing for so many years i'm not really sure when it came out but i know it has been around for quite some time and for girls like me when this fragrance came out we were so happy because because, you know back then nobody was checking for these kind of fragrances you would have to go to the gap if you wanted to smell clean and fresh but when uh see Allen Shore came out it was definitely my vibe all right and it still is obviously I've been through bottles of this one of course I always re-add it to my collection because I love the smell it smells like like clean laundry like musky clean laundry so it does give off that blue watery type scent it's a little bit powdery of course it's a bit soapy um it's very strong like it's very like this one will literally last like freaking days like it's a very long lasting scent especially when you layer up with the body cream such a freaking classic scent this is sea island shore another one that i have here is a twilight woods i picked up this one a couple of weeks ago and i was like oh my god i'm so surprised by the fact that i really like this one this is one that you just have to like kind of spurn yourself and let it do what it do you know it's one of those fragrances that's complex in a very simple way so at first you're gonna get those sweet dark berries you're gonna get some woodsy notes and for the most part you're gonna think that's what it's about if you're patient and you give it a couple of minutes the soft smooth musky florals are gonna come in and just that combination of uh, berries and those soft florals with the woods and the musk and it's just so beautiful you just got to give it a minute all right to do what it do all right this is twilight woods so another fragrance that i have here is winter candy apple by bath and body works i love this fragrance so much whenever i want to smell like shampoo this is kind of the fragrance that i reach for i definitely get like some sort of apple shampoo so it's kind of sweet and fruity but it's also fresh, which makes me think of shampoo for whatever reason. It's so good. Mm, and it's long lasting. I really like this one. And yes, I consider this one to be an absolute classic. Maybe not as old as the other fragrances that I showed you so far. Definitely stand the test of time. And I know a lot of people love this fragrance. This is Winter Candy Apple. Okay, guys. So another one that I have here is Moonlight Path. Moonlight Path has been around for quite some time. All right. And yes, this one is definitely a matte alley. It's like a sheer musky lavender scent. It's really simple. It's one of the first fragrances that. That I ever added to my collection from Bath and Body Works I remember just going in there and there were just so many fragrances but for whatever reason this one definitely stood out to me because of its nature you know I like clean fresh fragrances especially back then I was just not open to trying other fragrances but this one definitely stood out a lot of people would consider this one to be I mean mature which I definitely agree but I don't think it's mature to the point where you know someone in their 20s can't rock this because really it just has like a clean fresh type of scent yeah 
it's like a white musk type of scent very simple I think if you work in healthcare or if you work in an office environment this won't be perfect or like I said if you want something to sleep in or something like that this is definitely perfect this is a moonlight path now another one that I wanted to add to the list but I almost didn't add it to the list only because it's no longer available but it's such a classic scent I'm pretty sure if you scour the internet you could definitely find it it is vanilla lace all right now i'm gonna hold up bare vanilla because bare vanilla kind of um replaced vanilla lace but listen vanilla lace is such a freaking iconic scent i love that scent so much it just has this pure genuine vanilla extract type of scent it's just simple it's airy it's like vanilla extract with a little bit of musk under it so freaking good i had a boss that used to rock that scent and let me tell you oh my gosh she used to drive me crazy with the way that she smells every single day and she's one of the main reasons why I love vanilla lace. I mean, every single person that I've ever encountered wearing that fragrance has always smelled like really good to me. Like, it's such a beautiful scent. Bare Vanilla is a really nice replacement. I love this scent. Oh, it's so freaking good, okay? But vanilla lace is like, it's one of a kind, man. Like, if you've ever smelled that scent, you'll know what I'm talking about. Another fragrance that I'm gonna add to the list is Dark Kiss. I don't have the body mist right now, but I'm working on that. Super, super exotic kind of scent. Very unique, I mean, not for the faint of heart, but it's a beautiful vanilla scent. I think it's led by vanilla. So it's like a sweet vanilla with some smokiness from the incense. You definitely get some fruity vibe from the plum. And I get a little bit of that musky rose. Not gonna be for everyone, but if you're bold enough, to wear this fragrance let me tell you you'll be happy okay you'll be happy with this scent and yes it's very iconic another one that i have here i wasn't sure if i wanted to add this one to the list but i was like why not this is apple kiss this one has definitely stand the test of time all right it has been around for quite some time the other day i went into victoria's secret and saw this one and i was like oh my god this one has definitely been around for a very long time it's more of a floral aquatic scent it is so pretty it is so so pretty if you like clean fresh fragrances you know something that smells blue watery aquatic a bit floral just pretty as hell I'm not surprised that Victoria's Secret decided to keep this one around. Mm. Possibly the best aquatic fragrance you could find in Victoria's Secret or Bath & Body Works. I think if you have this one, you don't need another aquatic from Bath & Body Works or Victoria's Secret. It is just so good. Okay? This is oh, so beautiful. This is Aqua Kiss. Okay, guys. So another fragrance that I forgot to add to this list um, is Amber Romance. I'm going to insert this one on the list because this one is a truly a classic. It has been around for quite some time. I was introduced to this scent, I think, in 2003 or something like that. Between 2003 and 2004, a co-worker of mine used to wear this scent. It actually reminds me of a fragrance called, um, I think it's called Cherry Vanilla. I'm going to insert a picture of the fragrance that I'm talking about. About. it kind of reminds me of that it's a very mature scent and that's probably why um you know around 2003 2004 i did not like this scent because it was way ahead of my time but it's a really nice scent and i know a lot of people like this fragrance it's a very warm powdery amber cherry type scent and i think um a lot of people like this one so yeah i'm gonna insert this one on the list this is amber romance by victoria's secret okay guys so that brings me to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed i'll see y'all in my next upload don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm out of here bye